What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Now before we get into the news, I will be popping my SIM card out of my Galaxy X8 Plus, it's a mouthful, uh, and into my Xiaomi Note 4X. They sent this over to me to review and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to basically give this thing 24 full hours of full use. This thing has a huge battery. I think it's like 4,100 milliamps, 5.5 uh, inch 1080p display. And uh, it's just very interesting, very inexpensive too. It's like 179 bucks. So I'm gonna try this phone out, tell you what I think, and it should be ready, the review anyway, by I'd say about Tuesday I'm hoping to get this done with, and, or Wednesday at the latest, and then that way you get a new phone review coming up. Where's your uh, S8 Plus review? That's coming along, it's taking a little bit longer. This phone to me, not I don't not complicated to use, but complicated to get the right words out in a review. So I'm gonna take my time with this one. All right, guys, so let's get right into the news. The story today, the main, main story, is about the OnePlus 5 and some leaked photographs that this phone supposedly has taken. Now let's check out the metadata from the phone first. It says the dimensions of the photos are 4640 by 3480. It's coming from a OnePlus A5000, it's a four by three aspect ratio. And then some images of the actual photos. The first one is, of, it looks like a plant and it looks, you're okay, I'm not like, oh my God, I need that camera. Uh, and then I don't even know what that other photo is, the next one. Uh, and then you have another one here that looks like leather, I guess, or a lake, I can't even tell. <laughs> um, and then another image of something else. And they also go on to say that it should have a 16 megapixel camera. Now, that's not the only interesting thing about this article. They also go on to talk about the specs. A Snapdragon 835, eight gigabytes of RAM, a 5.5 inch 2K display, and Android 7.1.1. So that is looking like an absolute crazy beast of a phone, especially when you compare it to say something like uh, the uh, Galaxy S8 Plus, which also has a Snapdragon 835, but it's gonna have double the RAM of this phone, even more RAM than the one they're releasing over in South Korea, the six gigabyte model. It's gonna have a newer version of Android. It, it, it might even beat this before this gets 7.1.1. So, and it's probably gonna be again in the $400 range or high 300s, whatever it may be, but that's, Absolutely insane. Uh, I think, especially now that they're moving the resolution up on that screen, I think more people will even want this phone now because it's getting into competition with a lot of other phones that are 2K display. So I'm excited about this phone. I really hope it has good sound. I haven't really liked the sound on the OnePlus phones in, in a while. Um, 4100 milliamp battery, it's the other thing I forgot to mention. It's a huge battery. That's the same battery everyone, if that was in this phone, the Galaxy S A Plus, everyone would have been completely satisfied. I mean, I know a lot of people are getting really good battery life already with the 3,500 milliamp one, but imagine another 600 milliamps. I mean, it's probably not gonna create this huge world of a difference, but every little bit counts. So I assume you guys are excited about that phone as much as I am. Uh, they usually put out a really, really good inexpensive phones, and this looks to be no different at all. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I put a new video out every single day. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, you guys. You make this happen every single day. If you guys enjoy what I do, guys, please look into Patreon. Consider being part of one of my Patreon uh, things I've got going on. Also, my question of the day is, have you ever had a OnePlus phone? And if you had, have you loved it? And which model was it? I have had the OnePlus One. I skipped the two, I had the OnePlus 3. I really liked both of those phones. The OnePlus One was kind of buggy. Uh, OnePlus 3 is way more solid and uh, refined and uh, basically perfect. I just wish I had a 2K display. So it was just a bit sharper, but again, 1080p looks perfectly fine. And it looks like they're keeping on the new phone the 5.5 inch display like they did, I believe in all, well, all those phones have been 5.5 inch displays if I remember correctly. So they're not really changing that as well. So interesting to see. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a OnePlus phone in your life. And then uh, my product of the day, guys, is listed in the description down below. Check it out. Shopping through those Amazon links helps support what I do. I will see you down the road. Peace. What up, everyone? So if you did not see yesterday's news video, it is right here. Click on it. Watch it. 
you will be all caught up with your tech news. And then next to that is a video I released today on some poetic cases for the Galaxy SA+. And then near me to my left, click my head and click subscribe.